Hi friends, you are very welcome to Happy Nursing. This is Ila and today we will discuss about such a theory which you have to apply almost everywhere while taking care of patients. The theory of Maslow's hierarchy needs. You will get the reference of this theory very often during your journey of nursing. So let's see what is Maslow's hierarchy needs theory. Abraham Maslow was an American psychologist who developed a hierarchy of needs distributed in five levels and he said the needs must be fulfilled following the order from downwards to upwards for an individual to achieve optimal health and self-actualization. In the lowermost level, there are physiological needs, then safety needs. At the third level, there is love and belonging needs, then the need for self-esteem. And lastly, at the topmost level, there is self-actualization. Now, why it is important for us? Because we are constantly caring for patients, right? Our main objective is to understand the needs of the patients and provide care according to that. Now, for doing that in a proper way, we must arrange the needs of the patient according to priority. And Maslow's theory helps us in that arrangement. First, we have to fulfill the physiological needs like the need for oxygen, need for food, need for shelter, etc. And gradually, we have to move to the higher levels. We have often seen the application of this principle in many theories before, like the theory of human caring, Abdullah's theory, etc. You have seen the examples there also. When a patient is suffering from a physical symptom, solve that first, then assess his emotional needs, followed by esteem needs. So if we uh, see into the picture of this theory, the first level says physiological needs, that is the need for air, water, food, shelter, clothing, warmth, rest and sleep and reproduction. These are our basic needs. Basic means essential. If these needs are not satisfied, the human body cannot function optimally. Like air. Obviously, air is needed. Otherwise, we cannot breathe. Oxygen also comes from the air around us. Next is water. Another name of water is life. We cannot live without water. We need water to drink, to take shower, to do several activities, which are our daily needs. We need food to consume. Nobody can survive without food. Next is shelter. Of course, shelter is important for our survival. We need a roof over our heads so that we can protect ourselves from natural calamities, traffics, our enemies, etc. Next is clothing. We need clothes to cover ourselves. We belong to a civilized society and we cannot no longer roam around without clothes. Right. Next is warmth. This is also a basic need. This is not the emotional warmth. This is the physiological warmth, which we need to protect us from the environment. When it is cold in winters, we need warmth. Even when it is summer, we need to maintain a certain temperature of our body. That is referred to as warmth in here. Next is rest and sleep. Rest and sleep is also very crucial. Rather, a balance between rest and activity is needed to survive. If we keep on working, working and working, will we be able to survive? No. Our body is a human body. It's not a machine. It needs rest and sleep. Lastly, reproduction. Yes, according to Maslow, sex is also a basic need which must be met to move towards the higher levels. There is a natural human urge in both male and female according to their age which must be fulfilled. And reproduction is needed also to produce our future generations. Then in the next level, there are safety and security needs. These needs involve need for employment, property, family and social ability. After we have secured our physiological needs, we need to pay attention to the above needs. Why? Because safety and security is needed to live a life. We cannot just live uh, breathing the air and drinking the water, right? We need food, shelter and clothing, which we have to earn. In order to do that, we need a job. We don't need to be a millionaire, but we need a minimal amount of property to meet the ends. Then we need family for support. Family will help us and protect us when we face problems. We need to be able to function optimally in a society. So these are safety and security needs. Next is third level. Third level consists of love and belonging needs like friendship, family, intimacy, sense of connection, etc. Nobody can live in isolation with their 
own job within their own family and with their own money right every one of us needs a feeling of belongingness we need someone to share with to care for imagine going to your job working quietly and coming back home daily how will it be we will go mad right we need someone to talk to while we are working we need friends there who can support us at the time of our crisis we need neighbors to share our stories to pass our evenings the money that we are earning also needs to be spent on someone we just cannot spend all of it for ourselves right we need someone to love and care for with whom or for whom we will spend our money together next level comes with the need of self esteem maslow classified esteem needs into two categories esteem for oneself that is dignity and the desire for reputation or respect from others that is prestige after we have secured our physiological and emotional needs we need self worth accomplishment and respect for example we are doing a job to secure our financial needs we have our friends families and life partner with us but at the end of the day if we are not recognized by anyone nobody respects us then there will be no satisfaction human beings always have a desire to be accepted and valued by others imagine a situation where you are doing your best in your job life in your family life in your friend circle but nobody values your contribution what do you think would that be a happy life no definitely not we need others to value our contribution as well as we ourselves need to have respect for ourselves that is called dignity if we don't have that we won't be able to be more productive in our work at the last level there is the need of self actualization this is the highest level of need in maslow's hierarchy and refer to the realization of self fulfillment and personal growth we need to have a realization of our full potential for example i am doing a job in an mnc and every day everybody respects me i have my own dignity besides that i am having a, a loving family a good house i am financially capable and healthy so i have fulfilled all my needs but i have a talent of poetry and often i have thought of approaching in life further with poetry so somewhere i am missing something why because i don't enjoy the work i do self actualization is about accomplishing everything that one can and to become everything that one is capable of becoming so to live life to the fullest we need to achieve that something which will give us the sense of self fulfillment that missing kind of feeling will not be there anymore so that was all about maslow's hierarchy needs theory i hope you have understood this we have discussed many complex theories before and this is a simple one hope this video is useful to you and don't forget to subscribe my channel meet you in the next video thank you for watching